Hello and welcome to our video on Canada Travel and Immigration Channel. In today's video we'll discuss Canada reaches cap of 10,000 applications for U.S. H-1B visa open work permit stream. Till July 18th, the people who hold a U.S. H-1B specialty occupation visa might be qualified to apply to work and live in Canada. On June 27, the Immigration Minister of Canada, Sean Fraser, made the announcement, which aims to increase labor mobility in North America. It could have an effect on the immediate families of thousands of high-tech workers in both Canada and the United States. A three-year open work permit will be granted to those who are approved. An open work license implies that they can work for practically any business in Canada. This likewise applies to their life partners and wards who can apply for work or study licenses on a case-by-case -case basis. Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada claims that the measure will last for either a year or until the limit of 10,000 applicants is reached. This limit only applies to head candidates and excludes relatives. Criteria for the Open Work Permit for H-1B visa holders in Canada to be eligible for the Open Work Permit, you must have a legitimate H-1B specialty occupation visa and as of now live in the U.S. To apply for the open work grant, you really want a copy of your current H-1B visa, form I-797 divided by I-797B, notice of action divided by, proof that you live in the U.S., IRCC targeting STEM occupations on June 28. IRCC announced that it would the minister announced on May 31st that the category-based selection criteria include the draw. On July 5th, the department followed through and invited 500 STEM-experienced candidates, many of whom may also qualify for the new H-1B open work permit. The people who were welcomed were at that point in the Express Passage application pool. There are five new Express Passage classifications for those with work insight in unambiguous word-related fields. Those with excellent French language skills fall into the sixth category. The classifications were picked following exploration and conversation with IRCC accomplices and partners as well as common and regional state-run administrations who are probably going to be more on top of nearby work deficiencies. According to IRCC, Canada's commitment to retaining its position at the forefront of global R&D and innovation and attracting top global talent marked a significant milestone in the country's effort to do so. For instance, in Financial Plan 2023, Canada's administration declared that would contribute $20 billion to help the structure of significant clean power and development framework projects. STEM professionals' expertise and knowledge will be required for a large portion of this development. Canada's Tech Talent Attraction Strategy IRCC is developing a new innovation stream under the International Mobility Programme. In addition to the three-year open work permit for H-1B holders, Minister Fraser stated that the innovation stream will begin operations by the year's end. The choices for the stream are being created and educated by the criticism regarding partners got through a few discussions as of late. There are two choices getting looked at. Manager explicit work grants for as long as five years for laborers bound to work for an organization recognized by the Public Authority of Canada as adding to our modern development objective. Open work grants for as long as five years for exceptionally gifted laborers in select sought-after occupation. Further, the pastor reported a revisitation of the 14-day administration standard for work licenses under the Worldwide Abilities Procedure. The advancement of Canada as an objective for computerized migrants and enhancements to the Beginning Up Visa program. For example, more spots dispensed and expanding the length of the work grant from one to three years. STEM job openings in Canada According to the most recent data from Statistics Canada, there are 42,900 open positions in professional, scientific, and technical services in April. This is down by 30,600 from its peak of 73,600 in April 2022 and by 7,700 from March. Ontario and Quebec keep on having the biggest number of opening in the country. To assist with filling these opportunities, particularly in the STEM area, Ontario as of late eliminated the Canadian work experience prerequisite for newbies looking for licensure and designing. On June 30, Ontario's Service of Work, Migration, Preparing and Abilities Advancement likewise declared that controlled callings in Ontario will be expected to pursue and convey enlistment choices on applications from globally prepared rookies in six months or less. This action expects to make it more straightforward for gifted rookies, particularly in authorized callings like some under STEM callings, to fill work opportunities and close the abilities hole. That's it for today. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get all the latest possible updates. Thank you for watching.